Hello again folks, I'm up here by the old observatory to give you a proper review of Mafia 2. So, let's do a nice short version for anyone who doesn't want to watch me prattle on for the next 15 minutes. <coughs> this game is not worth more than £20. It's not worth 30 40 it is not worth more than 20 This game is too fucking short. Let's put it like this, you've seen my videos of me playing games, I'm a bit shit. I finished this in 12 hours. The full game, people have been saying 10 hours. Yes, there's DLCs planned, but they're making you pay for it on various platforms, like PS3 has the premium hot rod platform uh, DLC, which I'll come to later. So, that's the short version. Don't buy this game for 25 quid. Don't buy it for more than 20. If you can get it for 20 on the dot, and you can get it on the PC, I'd think about it. If you can get it for 15, I'd say it's worth it. 20, not. 25, not worth it. 30, not worth it. Consoles, fuck no, not worth it. Get it on the PC just because there's going to be mods for this game. So, let's talk about good stuff. I'll talk about this Jeep later. Good things in the game. This is the long version of the review now. I really liked the cars, because I like the 1950s. I like the city. The city's small, but it's detailed. It feels alive. You sort of go through it, there's no moments like in Grand Theft Auto where everything's suddenly vanished. There's always something happening. There's like little arguments on the streets during missions and stuff like that. I like that. I like... I like Vito, I like the main character, because he's not a bad guy, even though he has to do terrible things, but he's doing it to sort of not end up like his death. That's alright. I like Joe, I like Henry, I like some of the supporting cast, I'll get to the rest in a minute. But that's only a handful of good things. I mean, the story's not bad either, it's like, this guy, he sort of went to prison, come back, Becomes a made man, falls from grace, gets back up again. At a terrible cost. Dun dun dun. No, alright story, not bad. Not great, but not bad. This isn't like a piece of shit story or a piece of shit game like that. Fucking pile of crap painkiller. This was enjoyable, hence the reason I completed it fairly quick. Well, without spending three months. Let's talk about the bad things. One of my gripes is the annoying thing like what they did in Grand Theft Auto, having characters you couldn't give a shit about, but the game wants you to give a shit about them. It's like, no you care about this person, I couldn't give a shit about this person. No, you do care about them, really, you do, they're like, you know, your life. No, couldn't give a shit about them. Look, they're dying here, thank fuck, they're annoying as hell. I mean, there's like two, there's only two characters like that, but damn it's satisfying when they've gone out of the story. Um, I have a big problem, the guns, all the guns feel the same, they're all boring as hell to use because you just hide behind cover, wait for someone to pop their head out, use the auto aim, and pop their head off in one. Only difference between some of the guns is bigger clip. I mean there's two Tommy guns, they're basically the same, it's just one's got a 50 clip, one's got a 25 clip. Uh, other big problem, cut content and stuff they took out but is still on the disc and they are going to make you pay for. 2k, bad boys. Uh, for instance on the PS3 there is premium hot rod content which is supposed to be exclusive, I don't know, you might have to pay for it. But it's on the disc, I mean if I go around the internet, I've confined screenshots, and they'll be on screen now, of people who have found this content, used the ULX script, ULA script. Nothing big, they haven't written these parts into the game, they've just applied them to a vehicle. And they all stick. And it's just bullshit. I don't like it when companies do that. You know, it's like, hey look, here's some free stuff for you. Well, here's some free stuff, but only on this platform but it's on the disc. No, no, it's this, it's right here. 
and you know they're going to do that with other content in games in the near future. What else didn't I like? Criminally short, mentioned that already. Too short, cut content, annoying characters at times, all the guns feel the same. Oh yeah, story dicking you about. I did the video easy money, but, slight spoiler, later on, later on in the story, that doesn't matter because your bank account gets wiped out. It's like, ah man, all my stuff. Oh yeah, and you lose all your nice clothes too. So I lost all my money, all my clothes. It's like, fuck, that took me ages to get all that shit. You tell me I've not got to go around and get it again? Ah, that was just infuriating. So yeah, story kicks your ass at time, cut content to bitch, uh, some annoying ass characters, all the guns feel the same, but good points, I like the cars, I like the city, I love the music, music's excellent. Had to turn it off on this though to avoid WMG, ha <laughs> ha So yeah, not worth 125. So, in closing, give the game 6 out of 10. Not worth more than 20 quid. Seriously, don't bother with it unless you got. Unless you really like the Mafia series. If you like the Mafia series, then get it for this. is a short ass game. Uh, and 2K just fucking around with DLC. If you do get it, get it on the PC, then there'll be mods. Then you can have fun with it. Cause this is a free run mod I've got here already. You know, so I can just dump in, dick around, drive around, listen to some music, and then go about my day. So yeah, Mafia 2. Too expensive, too short. Pick it up cheap. If you can't get it cheap, don't bother. As always, I'm Big Adam, and I do crap reviews, because I review shit way too early, never play it all the way through, because I'm slow and crap at games. Oh, yeah, that's the one other thing I'm going to mention, because I forgot it, because I keep doing this video. This game uses a weird mix of in-game cutscenes and full motion video, so my character, who always wears this suit and cowboy hat, never matches up with the full motion video of regular VO in his brown jacket. Why? You sure you could do all this shit in the game? Why didn't you do it all in the game? Why did you bother putting full motion video in for no reason? What the hell is wrong with you people? So yeah, that's my final word on this. Seriously, not worth more than 20 quid. It's shorter than ground. Actually, you know what? You got 25 quid, you want a big open world crime game? Get Grand Theft Auto and the DLCs. It'll cost you less and last you way fucking longer. Let's get them all ready. Alright. That's it from me. 6 out of 10. Bit shit. Too expensive. I enjoyed it. Too expensive. Get it for less than 20. Good deal. And away!